This is the aftermath of a Huntley Project family home after it erupted in flames early Tuesday morning. It's a nightmare that has been intensified by this extreme weather and has left the family living in a hotel with just the clothes on their back. As soon as I saw the flames, I screamed for him to wake up. Alex woke up. He's like, what's going on? I said, go get your brother up and get, the he get out of the house because, you know, the house is on fire. This is all that remains of Desiree Cole's home after the fire that upended their lives. Desiree, her husband Andrew Gartside, and their five kids were sound asleep Tuesday when they awoke to the smell of smoke. They escaped but ended up in the freezing cold, only able to watch as the fast-moving flames destroyed their home and everything they owned. I was trying to wake up, trying to see if I could put it out, got dressed, and then I started grabbing stuff. and. I should have just started breaking windows and throwing stuff out. The family is now scattered around town. Two of Desiree's kids are staying elsewhere, but she, Andrew, and three of the children are living here in a cramped hotel room at the Montana Trailhead Inn. It's been a whirlwind last couple of days, but Desiree says she's thankful. It sucks, but I'm glad I live out in the Huntley community. There's a lot of support, a lot of donations coming in. Desiree works as an employee at the Blue Cat Bar. Her coworkers there have sprung into action to try and help. They lost everything, pictures, I, uh, photo albums, even the smallest stuff. It seems like they're just getting a leg up and they got kicked back down, but we're gonna try and make sure that they keep on getting up. Desiree is an amazing woman, hard worker, honest, um, she would do anything for anybody. Losing your home and everything right before Christmas, you know, and having kids, nobody deserves to go through that. A GoFundMe page and meal train site have been set up for the family, but employees at the Blue Cat are encouraging people to drop off their donations here. And those acts of love and generosity have already started to arrive. It makes a lot to make me cry, and it seems like I just want to burst out and cry. And it's just been overwhelming. In Huntley Project, Charlie Kleps, MTN News.